New at 11, he uh, says he's trying to bring sanity back to politics. And tonight, some of John Stewart's fans got to see him in person. Stewart has moved his show to the district just days ahead of his uh, joint rally on the National Mall with his Comedy Central cohort, Stephen Colbert. And John Gonzalez is live with more on what to his fans are saying after a taping of his popular program. Well, Maureen, his four DC episodes are focusing on what has become political theater around the country this midterm election. Appropriately enough, John Stewart is taping here at the Shakespeare Theater downtown, where today many of his fans waited for more than four hours to get in. He's very good at bringing people out who I think have a, a bit of more of an open mind politically. It's still unclear how many folks will converge on the National Mall this weekend for comedian John Stewart's pro satire rally. But if the lines of this week's taping of The Daily Show are any indication, we should expect tens of thousands. He was talking about, you know, D.C. politicians not knowing really what's going on. And I think that this is a nice way for everybody to kind of engage. John Stewart rally here for Saturday. This local portion of Comedy Central's show Indecision 2010 coverage has been given the title When Grizzlies Attack, The Daily Show Midterm Tea Party Ganza. And what was really interesting is watching him when some of the things were shown that you see at home, how he has the guffaw laughter and he's buckling over. The director of DC Vote was actually able to be part of the show tonight, asking Stewart about his views on DC voting rights. Uh, audience cheered. He said, yeah, you know, the whole taxation without representation thing sounds like a good idea. Yeah, good luck with that. What started off as more of a joke to counter Glenn Beck's conservative rally earlier this summer, John Stewart's rally to restore sanity and Steve Colbert's joint event known as the March to Keep Fear Alive have spun into whirlwinds of attention. Takes the buffoonery out of these public officials and he calls it like he sees it. Yet some Washingtonians find Stewart offensive. Sometimes I think he goes over the top in terms of, um, you know, making his point. Now, officials with the rally expect, or should I say predict, about 150,000 people on Saturday. As for the uh, shows taping here, well, tomorrow we're told to expect much bigger crowds and a lot of security. President Barack Obama is scheduled to be a guest on the show.